When a recommissioned and modernised sluice was first installed to release excess flood water, the force of the discharge eroded the adjacent Triple SI foreshore, exposing the original Victorian spillway. With a discharge capacity of 8 cubic metres, each release of flood water caused further destruction to the exposed spillway, with extensive loss of land on either side. Kane Bioengineering was appointed lead designer and worked closely with Natural England to develop an environmentally friendly solution. Kane Bioengineering was then subcontracted to build it using netting retained terraces with brushwood sediment traps. A design was worked up based on a detailed topographical survey. Exploratory site investigations revealed original Victorian spillway features constructed from handmade block stone and retained by beautifully preserved Greenheart curbs. Having discovered these features, our designers set out to construct a fully functional spillway that preserved the archaeological heritage of the site. This was in addition to our Natural England brief to enhance the Triple SI foreshore by constructing a sloping terrace for salt marsh plants. Let's have a quick look at the various stages of terrace construction. First, we graded the slopes prior to fitting the retaining hardwood posts. We then fitted geotextiles on the inside face of each terrace. Each terrace was interconnected using strainer wire and the terraces were then primed with armour rock to a predetermined gradient. We installed a rock ramp on a bed of hazel faggots to protect the spillway from undercutting and encased the rock ramp with geonetting. The rock field terraces and the gabion toe were then encased with a single sheet of geonetting. Finally, we fitted brushwood scour mattresses at the terminal end of each terrace to provide an organic interface between the structure and the natural sediment of the intertidal channel. By way of conclusion, here are four comparative sequences showing the before and after images of the project. The design of this structure is such that with each tidal exchange, the sloping terraces will rapidly accrete with waterborne sediments. This will enable the natural colonization of indigenous plants on this historic site of special scientific interest. <laughs>